Making your mark with Bookmark? Let's learn how to create a search engine friendly website. Before diving into the information, it is worth mentioning that this video will give you some quick tips and tricks, not in-depth information about what SEO is and foundational principles. For this type of information, we suggest that you check out our SEO course in Bookmark's e-learning section. Okay, now let's dive in. Here's the good news. Your Bookmark website is automatically search engine optimized based on your site's title. We use this information to create unique titles and descriptions for every page. This is a huge advantage of using our builder and a great starting point for Google to like and recognize your online presence. That being said, we recommend that you further customize your titles and description. Here's how. Let's start with your site's global SEO settings. Global refers to settings for your entire website, including all pages. Click Settings in the left menu bar, and then click SEO. The first thing you can adjust is the site name structure. This refers to how the name of your pages appear both in the Browsers tab as well as in the search engine result lists. By default, your site will be set to list your site name before your menu name, as you can see here. Here's an example so you can see what this means. Let's say your restaurant's name is Mary's Famous Diner, and accordingly, that is what you chose to name your site. Then what will show in your user's browser and in search engine result lists will be Mary's Famous Diner, Home. Mary's Famous Diner, About. Mary's Famous Diner, Gallery, etc. You can choose to flip this by clicking the arrow tab on the right and selecting Menu Name, Site Name instead. This would now mean that your user's browser and search engine results lists will show Home, Mary's Famous Diner. About, Mary's Famous Diner. Gallery, Mary's Famous Diner, etc. Either option you choose is fine. Now let's further customize your site by updating the site name, which is the title of your site. Right now, your site's title is Mary's Famous Diner because that is the name of your business. This name is okay, but can be further customized and optimized with a 50-60 character name. Let's say your diner is very well known for its Waffle Mountain. You could update your site name to be Mary's Famous Diner, home of Toronto's Waffle Mountain. Make sense? Now let's move on to your site description. This is displayed by search engines to inform searchers of your site or page's main purpose. It should be 155 characters or less. Currently, it says, Welcome to Mary's Famous Diner. Let's make this better and enter, Mary's Famous Diner has been serving Toronto's most delicious waffles since 1975. You are telling Google this is the site for Mary's Famous Diner. It is located in Toronto and you serve delicious waffles. Repeating these key words explains to Google what your site is about so it can better understand it and suggest it in search lists. Next, meta keywords are relevant search words that you want search engines to identify with your site. Continuing from the example above, you could type in Diner, Waffles, Toronto, Famous, Waffle Mountain, Breakfast, Brunch and Restaurant. Footer codes and header codes found below are HTML code snippets that are used to track analytics. You can fill these in if you like, though it is not necessary since Bookmark captures all of these analytics automatically. You can reference these in your dashboard. Okay, let's go ahead and save the global SEO settings that we have updated. And now, let's look at how to optimize SEO for each individual page. First, click out of settings, and then click pages in the left menu bar. When you hover over a page, you will see three icons appear. Click the crayon icon to edit that page's settings. Here you will see the first settings to update are the menu name and page link. The menu name is the page name or title that your user sees on your site, and the page link is what the page's name or title is in the URL. Accordingly, each of your site's pages need to have a different page link so each URL address is unique. For this example, you will keep the menu name as menu for this page, and you will also keep the page link as menu. These will not always necessarily be the same. Now let's click on Advanced Settings. This is where you can edit your page title, description, and keywords, just like we did previously for the whole site. We strongly recommend that you take time to do this. Let's go ahead and fill these in together for this page. You could fill in Mary's Famous Diner Menu for your page title, and Mary's Famous Diner Menu serving Toronto's best breakfast, lunch, and dinner since 1975 for the page description. And keywords that relate to this menu page such as diner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, waffles, waffle mountain, soup, and sandwich. Now let's go ahead and save these settings. 
You should then go ahead and repeat these steps for each page on your site. Now that you have optimized your site and page titles and descriptions, let's go ahead and add alt tags to your images. You can add alt tags when you add images into your drive, or you can add them after the fact by simply clicking on an image and then clicking the tag icon. From here, you will see an option to add alternate text for your image. For this image, you would type in Mary's Famous Diner Waffles. Then click Save and you are all set. Simple, right? Okay, now last but not least, let's talk about header tags. Header tags refer to the HTML markup used to distinguish headings and subheadings on your site from other text as part of your overall content. They run from H1 to H6 in order of importance. Labeling a heading as H1 essentially tells Google that particular heading is the most important on your page. For example, you would label Mary's Famous Diner as H1 on your homepage. To do this, click the Heading module, highlight the text, click the Header Tag Editing icon, and choose H1. Now let's move slightly down the page to your subheadings including Our Menu, Drinks, and Dessert. Just as before, simply click the subheading module, highlight the text, click the Header Tag Editing icon, and choose H2. Easy, right? As mentioned earlier, you can layer header tags on your page from H1 to H6 in order of importance. As a best practice, every page should have at least the main title tagged as H1. Okay, phew, we covered a lot of information. We looked at global SEO settings such as site name and description, and meta keywords along with page-specific settings including menu name and page link. And we also learned how to add alt tags to your images and header tags to distinguish important titles from regular text. Now you are all set to create a search engine-friendly website while making your mark with Bookmark.